And now we're recording. Hello, and welcome back to Death Stranding Director's Cup. I'm Buck, the Redneck Viking, and today we continue in our efforts to bring the US back together one brick at a time. Uh, today, I am streaming again, and I'm probably gonna stream for a while today. I don't really have anything else I need to be doing today, which is nice. Uh, if you are watching the videos, you may have noticed I skipped a day again. Um, even after I had said that I have, like, my schedule and shit figured out. Um, this, there is a reason this time. This time, uh, we had a little bit of an issue with, uh, with one of the vehicles. One of my motor vehicles. Uh, it slightly died. One of my motorcycles slightly died while I was on the way home. Um, so it kind of messed everything up for the week. Um, and I was having to get, uh, having to get public transportation to work, and it was tiring and exhausting. And I was having to get up at 6 a.m. compared to when I would usually wake up at, like, 8 a.m. So, so, you know, I, uh, I was kind of tired. Oh, wait, I just realized. But... We're good now. We're back now. We're going. And, uh... I'm gonna grab a quick... Grenade. Uh... Wait, nope. Not this. Uh, do I have a bunch of grenades in my private locker? Uh... No, I had a bunch of ceramics, though. Um... Fabricate. Okay, we need... You know what? I am going to take one of, uh, I'll take two of these as well. Just because, like, I've not really, in fact, I'll take five because I have the pouches on my back, don't I? Um, because I've not really used the guns all that much in my previous playthroughs of this game for, like, the anti-BT stuff. So, I'm intrigued, to say the least. Uh, is that the anti-BT handgun on my... No, it's a bolo gun. Oh, I already had one. Put it away. Okay. Now. Let us... Head on up to this part of the road, get on the road, and get going from there. And I think I need to be on this side of the road. Yes, I do. Oh, we've got a storm breaking out. I still need to figure out where the next part of this road goes. Because I still haven't seen where this goes. Oh, it's like preventing me driving off. That's interesting. At slow speed, it was preventing me from like accidentally driving off the road. All right. These roads are so much easier than traveling through the BT territory. I'm so glad that they got expanded to this section. Or I actually just did these for the chain. But yeah, like I said, I, I'm fairly certain the last few times I played this. These did not go this far out. But today, we have a few things on the docket. We will be grabbing what is needed for the, uh, the thing behind the farm. We will be grabbing the companion cube, which is why I got all this anti-BT stuff. Um, and 
we will be continuing with the story, I think. Because, realistically, I need to start continuing. So, I'll take a left here, because I'll go get the Cairo uh, thing first. Why put that here? Like, there is no problem here when that is right there. Oh, I forgot I was already uh, in L zoom mode. Oh, and I forgot to—I forgot to open my monster. So when we get to where we're going, I will crack my monster, much like my uh, my starting soon screen says. I forgot to uh, heed my own advice. But, uh, I don't think I'm wearing one of my monster hats, though, unfortunately. Which, uh, yeah, because I'm not representing the brand too well. Not like I'm sponsored by Monster. I just love Monster. I'm a very big fan. Of, uh, of that specific brand of energy drink. Okay. So left turn here because I remember that that spire there is where we are heading. So with any luck, we won't hit too much rain. Oh, there's another road. Hmm. hmm. Let me just check something. Oh, wait. Oh, I won't be able to check. Uh, I think what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to quickly, like, time skip back to to over there, grab all the ceramics and bring it here. Because you're going to need a bunch of ceramics, aren't you? Oh no! I can actually probably grab that from right here. Right? You'll have a bunch of ceramics, if not this will have a bunch of ceramics. You've got 176. Oh yeah, you've got enough. Okay. Just to continue having... A little bit of road to run. So, how much was it I needed? Uh, oh boy. Four forty. No. No, way more than that. You idiot. Five sixty. Welcome, Sam Porter. -Bridge. Man, my uh my mental mathematics has gotten real bad. Um Oh wait, I forgot to check the metal as well. So Yeah, it's obviously five sixty. Uh it's five sixty and then like six hundred metal. Cool. Um, I don't know why I always make that noise. 600. For AE. 560. There we go. I know, Sam. It's kind of heavy. Now, if I'm lucky, which it looks like I might be, they're actually maybe very, very limited rain. So, limited BT activity over here right now. Um, also, last time I played, I noticed that this was called the Cicada, which I never knew. Uh, fun little thing about cicadas at the moment. In America, if you are living in America, uh, the cicada population is going insane. Because there, there's the rain. Told you. Um, so, like, with cicadas, the way they exist um, is they will burrow into the ground. 
uh, for, I think it's 13 or 17 years. Um, and then... Wait, that couldn't have been right, though. 760. 300 gets it to... Oh, no, no, no. I, uh, so, 440 is what I needed. Was I right the first time? God damn it. Oh, well. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, so they will bury themselves. And then they will uh, dig themselves up, fly around, have more babies, and then die. But um, right now is the crossover period for the 13 and the 17 year cycle. So it's like literally billions of cicadas are living in uh, uh are flying around the midwest at the moment which is i mean awesome for me i love cicadas and ironically i think they're the coolest thing ever but um yeah i, I suppose for like residents probably kind of sucks so let's go as close as we can before we see the old shimmy shake There's the shimmy shake. And while we're here, just get the old, uh, crack out the old monster. Ah, oh, it's so good. All right, let's get going. And let's hope that I don't have to deal with those goddamn quick ones. Come on. Show up. There you are. So does that kill them outright one shot from a fully charged? It does. Okay. Alright. I'm picking up what you're putting down, game. Speaking of picking up. Make sure we grab all the, uh... The crystals. I forgot how sensitive these, uh... These bumpers are. Nice. Over here and grab this. So there's one there. I think I actually know where that one is. I think that's over by, like, there. Oh, I was wrong. Wow, I was right wrong. Why is this one? You know what, actually? I'm gonna grenade those ones. I'm gonna grenade those two. Just cause it's gonna be easier to kill these off individually. What the hell? Why did that act like one hit me? Eliminated. Pick this up. Oh. Where are you? There you are. Okay. So luckily we've not had to deal with any chiral ones yet. Because they suck. And then there is a baby one. Cool. Oh, 
Sorry, kiddo. It had to happen. I put you at rest now. Let's just pop in here and grab this. <clears throat> Is he just outside? Oh, it's a big boy. I forgot big boys existed. But this is going to absolutely coat that car in Cairo Crystals. Oh, there. Yeah. Fuck it. I don't know where this one is. Oh, it's that. Oh, boy. Okay. I am in a little bit of a dangerous spot right here. And then tubs. Ah, there it is. Is that another giant one? Oh, missed by a mile. Hit the wall? You have got to be kidding me. Eliminate as many as I can. Now grab all these. After taking out this next one. Nice. Sweet. All right, let's go and grab this. And uh, I'll go and continue eliminating. To make my life a lot easier on the follow follow up visit. most entertaining part of this game, but it's definitely fun to do. Just eliminating hordes and hordes of BTs. There we go. Oh. That's lucky I wasn't continuing to walk because I would have been protected by that one. Ah, you can't hide now. I saw you. Where'd you go? 
he says it is, it, as I immediately lose track of where it went. Alright. They're now all way the hell over there. Put that away. Let's just get running. in here and use a bunch of the ones we just got to fill this up. Cool. So, let us now head back over to the car. We'll drop this off at um, the distro center. Because right now, as of now, I should be able to drive along the outskirts of this without having to worry about entering encountering too many BTs. All of them as of now should be a pretty significant distance away from this side of things. There's one that looks like it's actually quite close right over there. Oh, there's one right here. Where are you? There you are. I mean, let's just get rid of you for the sake of, uh, of making sure everything's clean. And there's maybe one more in my way on the way back. So now the only ones left are like way over that direction, which is huge. Yeah, let's not break the uh, the companion cube I just grabbed. Because what I'll actually do is I think I'll put the. I'll actually put the, um, the ceramics from the weather station in here, more or less permanently, because that will, uh, that will definitely help make sure that I remember them. As for now, let's uh, let's get this back to where it belongs. Oh. Huh. I didn't expect to be accompanied by a choral choir. Hit the old recharge. Now, if I remember correctly, the whole fragile stuff doesn't start unless you go down into the uh, the restroom. I might be wrong, but I think unless you go to the private room, it doesn't happen. So I will just fly on past that situation for now, because we will come back and deal with that.
hell of a name on the character, the, the player there, by the way. Hello! I have your companion cube. Oh, actually, let's uh, let's do this one. That three of them I'm sharing. Let me guess. This is for Fragile, yes? No doubt she'll love it. But since this isn't the oh. best, I'll accept them on her behalf and pass it along when appropriate. I didn't know they did that. Yeah, yeah. Mama! The great deliverer does it again. Much obliged. You're welcome. Oh, and Hartman! What a wonderful gift. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome, buddy. I didn't know that they did the whole, like, oh, she's busy right now. Honda Rebel 500, Coffee Cup, and Thelma Original Motion Picture Soundtrack. Cool. Thank you for your coming. Alright. Now I'll deliver this. I don't remember what I get for this. Everything all right, Is it like a hat? I got a hand it to you. Not many guys out there who can do what you do. Is it like a valve hat? Oh no, it's the tr yes, this it's the best kind of truck. It's uh got all the power. Right? It's like a I think it's a large capacity one. So I will actually make that right the hell now. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, fabricate that now. I'm fairly certain that's... I'm fairly certain it's a high capacity one. Um, so, get rid of this. Get rid of this. Uh this, 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 and this, and this. Oh, is that the one I have on me right now? Oh. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, actually, I will, I'll just recycle them. Because I I need to, um, make a new one. Like that, that. Um, I mean, so I'll get rid of that as well. It's only got three shots, so. Or three shots left, even. Get rid of these. Get rid of this. Oh. And that. And we'll. I'll make some new ones. Um. Fabricate. Uh, a new power skeleton and new gloves. Put the active. Put them on. Uh, now let's see how many. Oh. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Oh, fuck. Grab that. Grab that. And I will just chuck them into the... Into the truck. Oh, okay. So it's not a high capacity one. Right. I thought it was. Um, so take on... That's the, that's not the one I wanted. Standard orders? Wait. Thank Am I done? Am I done? Put the button, uh, uh,
Oh. Oh, I am wrong. Well, I'll grab some metal out of here in that case. I didn't realize I I thought that it was a I thought I needed to take on order for it. I guess 3000 metal will be enough. Wait. Actually, I can check, can't I? Ah, so I could have done this at the very start. Son of a bitch. Uh, 1000 metal will be enough. Um Oh, but... Eh, I'll take sense. Because I'm going to need more metal for the other way anyway. Load them into the truck. No. No. Confirm. There we go. Let's get going. Sweet. So let's head on down to the farm. Much like my darling parents will be doing. So my cousin uh, owns a farm. In, uh, like, near Somerset, I think? Down south. I can't remember where exactly. I'm bad with, with that kind of geography. Um, but, uh, no, my, my cousin owns a farm. I forgot if I get the car job. My cousin owns a farm down south. And soon my, uh, my parents will be retiring, so to speak, to, uh, to said farm. Um... I, I put retiring in air quotes simply because they're both going to continue to be working. Um, you know, retirement is kind of a, a, a bad joke in this day and age, so to speak. Sadly. But, um, no, they're going to be going down there. They're going to be, uh, my father's going to be working on the farm. And my mother's going to be working in a, like, uh, a retailer's, like an m and I suppose. She's worked in Waitrose for, for basically my entire life, so. But they're going to be down there. Um, which is pretty cool. Oh, actually. Wait, 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 wait. I don't need to do that. I can stay on this side. Here we go. I don't know if that's um, just a funny little... Uh, idiosyncrasy, I suppose. I also love that they they went as far as to put the detail of when you're turning left and right in the cars. The indicator goes on. Such a clever little detail. That really doesn't mean a whole lot, but it's very entertaining to see. Here we go. Um, I will just grab all of the... Oh, you have so many new. Oh, no, not special armor. There we go. Uh, we will put all that into the truck. And we will also grab all of my... Uh, stuff from the private locker. Man, this, this truck is so helpful. I need to stop doing that. Hey. Charge. Hello, Giraffe. I never played that game. I had no interest in playing that game. I, I grew up a PlayStation kid. Like, full-on PlayStation kid. I 
where I was PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, and hence why I love this game. Um, but then I have had zero interest in anything to do with the PlayStation 5. Like, halfway through the PlayStation 4's life cycle, I'd say. I got the, the PlayStation 4 Pro. I remember buying that. But about halfway through the life, the lifespan of the... You son of a bitch. Yeah, there's going to be BTs down there, isn't there? Um, yeah, probably about halfway through its life cycle, I... I made the switch to Xbox. Um... Yeah, I just, I just, I uh, like, I just couldn't. When we, when I was younger, we just couldn't afford for me to have both. But I made the switch to Xbox a while ago, um, and so like those games just passed me by. Right. Oh, I need to be boosting, don't I? Yeah, no, I uh, I never played those, like... I don't know what they're called. Hi, guys. Oh, someone's not protecting that one. Oh, what are you doing? There we go. I was worried I was going to just plow right the hell into him. Um, But I guess Kojima, like... I guess he likes those games. Just cool. I just, yeah, never really had any interest in them. So when I saw them appear in this game, I got uh, a little bit confused to begin with. Uh, there's a power charger near here, right? Yeah. Oh, it's up there. Still got it. Right. <clears throat> Let's charge up a little bit. And now head down here. It is strange that, not, that, like, Sam does talk directly to the player. Nice. Uh, I will actually just chuck in some of the normal metals, but it's good to know that I can definitely use the lightweights. Uh, fuck it, I'll just use one of the 800s. Yeah, it's, it's not that much of an over- oh, wait. Chiral. Nice. Cool. Now I can actually build the, um, hmm, cool. <clears throat> so that now unlocks the ability to build the roadster, right? Oh my God. This map is this, this road is insane. This is like a proper F1 race, uh, a proper F1, F1 race. Wow. Those are woods. Oh. Okay. So, wait, does this is this also a a private room? Is this a private room? 
No. But I can't, so I can. Okay. This is insane. I'm just gonna drive around the goddamn track. In this thing. Uh, would this be an anti-clockwise? Well, that's just, so I'm gonna guess this is the start. So you start into a hairpin turn. Oh, you get drift around this section of road. That's very cool. Oh, wait. What the fuck? Well, I, how do I... Oh! There's like... Is there multiple courses? Either that or like this is an escape road, effectively. I want to go up here. Oh, this now makes sense. Like, why the, the geography is so weird in this area. Because you remember... Anyone watching the stream won't remember, but anyone that may have watched my videos may remember. I came up here really confused as to why this part of the map exists. Yeah, because I went all the way up. That's why this section is so strange. Oh, that's really cool. This is really, really cool. Wow. This is fun. This is this is a fun addition. Um, cool. I will now... Oh, and it's like a real... F1 thing where the battery for your car does deplete but then recharges as you go around the, the course. That's fun. Cool. So now I have a thing I can come down here and do. Okay. There you go, speed I'll, just, I'll just stay here and recharge for a second. And then uh, get off and head back towards... Uh, the other end. That's very cool, though. I like that. Like I said, that's a very fun addition. That um, I knew I wasn't mental in thinking that this didn't exist down here, and I, like, I don't, I don't think that there was much be beyond the farm in the original version of the game. I feel like it was like a mountainous range almost immediately. Yeah. Wicked cool jump. That's very entertaining. Like I, I'm I'm so I'm so thoroughly thrilled with all the minute additions to this game. Like stuff that I didn't even think I'd think were cool. It's so much fun. It's just, it's brilliantly silly to see all the new stuff. And just shows the, yeah, I know you're there. Like just the, the, the sheer mad genius that is Kojima. Okay, so what I'm gonna do I'm going to head back up to um, the weapons builder, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to continue building those roads up there. So, uh, YouTube, I will catch you there shortly. What? I jumped the car. Welcome back, YouTube. We're, uh... We're going to go get the sections of road built. Oh, it's Sam. I know. I know. This section sucks, but... Hey, once we have the roads built, we're not going to really have to worry about it, man. Uh, hey. Because we'll build there, build there. And I th think there's one... I know. I'm right by one.
Here we go. Uh, so. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, guys, this section built. Far section built. Ooh. We'll just keep going around this little bit of the mountain to just continuously building stuff until it's it's all done. I'm also gonna grab this because it's it's a it's a triple. And they, uh, yep, they give you quite a bit. I don't remember how much. And I, like a hundred, cool. I wonder if. Hmm. Oh no, because water almost immediately, isn't it? Uh, I was going to say, I wonder if they've added anything in this section. But I forgot that's, is that water almost immediately? Yeah, that is water. Uh, let's add the appropriate chiral crystals first. Uh, metal, metal. 800. Boy. Okay, this is actually going to go for quite a, a while now. Let's go, uh... Took up on the far end. Wait. Are there more BTs in this direction? It's the floating ones. Maybe this is new. Maybe this section is new. Because I don't... I definitely don't remember the floating ones being in the previous game. Okay, yeah. The weather's clearing up. So it, it's just being close to that section. Because there's the crematorium, I think. See if we can't build this section now. That's a big one. Oh, how many? Oh, you've got a lot of ceramic. And I do need to go up there to start that. Uh, Alright, I'll, I'll be able to grab a bunch of ceramics on the way back up. Wow, okay. We don't have enough ceramics. Uh, how much ceramics is that I need? Like 80? Let's see if I can't scrounge up 80 ceramics from around me. Nothing in that direction. Hmm. Nothing in either direction. Mm 
Really? There's nothing? There's gotta be some ceramics around here somewhere. Oh. Yep, there they are. Draw distance wasn't too kind on them then. Next up, that's only happening because I'm near them. Oh, actually. Oh, hello. Am I near a proper one? Yeah, it's those. Oh, fuck it. Let's go this way. Let's see if any of them have ceramics in them. Ah, blood bags. Go away. You're useless. To me right now. I, I don't need them right now. There's got to be some ceramics around here, right? I refuse to believe in a section where it's heavily, like, heavy BTs. There is no abandoned deliveries. Or just, like, stuff on the floor. I guess it's really not. Okay. Well, I will, uh... I guess when we came through here earlier, there really wasn't anything here. All right, let's go grab some ceramics from, um... I don't remember... Well, I suppose I never really built the roads in my previous playthroughs, so I don't remember it being this difficult to build the roads, but... Grip. I'll just grab some. And, uh... We literally you just need 80, so I'll grab, like... I'll grab 80 from here. Right, there's 80 in this one. Yeah. And if there happens to be a motorcycle here, I'll, I'll jump on the motorcycle to get back, because it'll be quicker. <clears throat> See, the ceramic's there, but those are to be delivered. Let's just double check. It is going to be 80 I need. Because, yeah. Add 100 gets... To, yeah, cool. Oh, I had a... Oh, I'm having weird nostalgia. I'm having really weird nostalgia for, for when I uh, visited Japan. Um, that one. Uh, or do I want the Kasugi? Um, you know what? I'll grab the Kasugi, actually. Kasunagi. Um, yeah, I had really weird n uh, nostalgia then for, like, arriving in Japan and having to fill out customs forms. And I, I don't know why I suddenly started having it. Oh, yo, I have a bunch of metals in here, too. Uh, I will carry those on my back quickly. And I'll put them in the vehicle. Uh, I literally need... 80 ceramics. But yeah. Really weird nostalgia moment where, like, I just... I, I suddenly was back in that moment. Ow. There we go. So we will get the end of this route finished, and that will probably be all we have time for today, which... Eh, you know, isn't as entertaining, I know, but... This has to be done. We have to, uh... We have to make these preparations for expanding west. Um... But next time we will get 
a bunch of story stuff done. Uh, we will go and see Fragile. We'll start uh, heading south to... Um, south Knot. And we will... Um, we will start our expansion and uh, moving towards um, more story stuff. Oh, there's the slidey bike again. Cool. Now let's build this. Bang on. <sighs> Big old stretch. Now I think that goes up by the crematorium. It's weird that this doesn't like, you'd think this would loop up to there, but, um, no, it doesn't. You, uh, you still have to make the awkward trek up there, which is fine. It's just mildly annoying. Yeah, 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 I know. Floating ball sacks are making me scared, I know. It's weird because it's not a factory, it's a it's a train yard. I don't know why Sam is like they got Sam to lean that way. Realistically for this kind of road it makes more sense to count a steer. Which would be for him to lean completely over to the left hand side of the bike. He's kind of doing it, but, like, his body's moving incorrectly. If he leaned his body all the way, kept his body where it is, and just leaned the bike, he would maneuver around corners a lot quicker. I don't know why they have him doing this. But, you know, who am I to tell the greatest uh, game director of all time how to direct something? Okay. So, we'll go grab the car. And that'll be pretty much it for this one. We will grab a quick nap. Uh, so let's grab the car. And hope my stuff is still in it, because I forgot to take it out. And hopefully it's not just deleted it all. Oh, no! Right? Uh, no. I think I know, actually. Hang on. Let's get back out. Because the stuff in the private locker was the stuff in the, um... Yeah, okay. It was the stuff that was in here. I, I suddenly just clicked. Um... Cool. Let's enter the private room to get some rest. And that'll be it. That'll be it for this one. Um, like I said, you know, we're getting there. We're getting towards uh, where there's going to be a lot of story action pretty soon. Uh, I think f going to see Fragile actually is going to give us a big chunk of story stuff. So, um, uh, as Sam wakes up, uh, I will uh, I'll thank you for watching. Hope you're having a lovely day, wherever you are. Um, morning, if you're enjoying what you're watching, uh, you, you know, feel free to like and subscribe. All that good YouTuber goodness and uh, weirdness. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, so, wherever you are, have you, hope you're having a wonderful 
morning, evening, and uh, an afternoon, or just one hell of a day. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.